All right, good morning and welcome to this uh, video tutorial. My name is Rafa from SweatDigital.com. I in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to add a screw to top button. For instance, if you come to my website, what will happen at the bottom right of this website now? Once I scroll down, you can see the the button has appeared just below uh, my mouse now. If I scroll down a little, you can see that the button is there. Once I click on this button, it will take me back to the top. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to teach you three different uh, ways you can actually achieve this. You can do it, the, I'll teach you the paid version, and I'm also going to teach you the free version, okay? So without wasting time, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. You can see I'm already in, the, in this tutorial website that I usually use in doing my tutorial. So the first thing I need to do now is to install a plugin. Okay, scroll down, go over plugins and click on add new. Okay, once this page opens up for you, search for WP front and this plugin uh, box will open up for you. can see WP front scroll top. That is the name of the plugin I'm going to install. If you notice, it is not showing install now because I've already installed. I don't want us to waste uh, much time. But if you don't know how to install plugin or team, I'm going to drop a, a link, uh, a video link below the comment uh, section. So you can be able to watch how you can install plugin and team from a WordPress uh, directory or from a third party website, both free and premium uh, team or plugin. I'll drop the link in the description below so you can actually look to watch that uh, particular video. So I don't want us to waste time start installing it and all those stuff. So once you install it, you see activate. Click on that activate. You can see I've already done that. So in your case, I want to see install now then activate it after the installation. Once you are done, mainly when you install a plugin, it usually appear at the left pane here. But some of them don't appear here. And once you cannot access the plugin that you just installed, the first thing you need to do is to go to over that plugin. You see installed plugins. Click on it. Okay, once this page opens up for you, you scroll down, you search for the plugin that you just installed. Okay, in our case, we just installed um WP front, so I'm going to go down, 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 look for it. Okay, look at it here. WP front scroll top. So click on setting. Okay, so go down. This is the setting uh, interface. You are going to enable this. Click on check on this box, enable. Then enable this uh, JavaScript uh, async. Okay, to increase the performance if there is no conflict. Okay, so I'm going to enable it and go down. Okay, you may decide to change the button duration, but I'm going to leave all this. You can do it on your, on your own. I'm going to leave them at default. But this I'm going to hide it so that it will appear at a certain percentage. If you watch this guy, it's not appearing. You can see it has not showed until I get to a certain percentage. You see it appearing. Okay, that's what I'm going to do here. So let's go down. If you want to hide it on mobile, you can actually check this. But in my case, I'm going to leave it. So scroll down, scroll down. Here you can select where you want it to appear. If you want it to appear at the left uh, side of your page. You can select left or bottom anywhere you want it to appear. You can select, but I'm going to leave it at the bottom right, okay? So you scroll down. You may want to deselect and select a particular page you want it to appear, okay? 
but I'm going to allow it to appear in all the pages. Okay. So once you are done, for me to select, let's select this guy here. Let's select this uh, icon box. Okay. Can select it now. I'm going to use that one. Once you are done, click on save changes. Now let's look at let's look at what we just created now. Let's open it in the an incognito window. Okay, you can see the stuff. Let's scroll down a little. You can see. So let's scroll down. You can see it has appeared. Okay. So let's click on it. You can see it has taken us back to the top. Come down. Take you back to the top. Okay. So that is the first one. This one is completely free. Okay. So I'm going to teach you the second one. So we are going to remove this guy. So that it doesn't cause, cause a conflict. I'm going to uninstall the plugin. Okay. Okay. I'm going to deactivate it. First of all, deactivate plugin before you can be able to uninstall it. Okay, I'm going to delete it now. Okay, I've deleted it. Then the second one I'm going to teach you, which is also free, is from uh, Elemental. We are going to use Elemental. I've already opened Elemental. So the next thing we need to do is to scroll down. I'm going to add another session. Okay. So click on this plus icon. Click on the session. Click on this box. Let's search for icon. Okay. okay click on this. Drag it to this guy. So let's search for, let's look for, we can use this. Let's look for arrow. We type in arrow. Okay, let's use this one. Insert. Okay. Let's give it a color. Let's change the color to something. Make it red. So you can see it very well. You can give it a different hover, hover background, and make the hover green. Okay. So, that is done. The next thing we need to do is to go to this advanced. I'm going to give, let's first of all give this guy. So, let's first of all give it a name so scroll up okay click on this guy here this three dotted uh, uh, at the top okay click on it and click on advance you can see css id so i'm going to give it a name let's give it a name. let's just type to top okay top. Let's see. Then go down this guy here. We're going to position this guy. So let me click on this. You can actually click on this, but I'm using this one. This thing is faster for me. So the next thing you need to do is to can see positioning okay click on this drop down select fixed okay you can see the arrow has gone to the top center then we're going to take it to the left okay scroll it down bring it at the bottom okay Can see it here now. Let's bring it up. Just watch what I'm doing. This offset. Can see. 
I take it right a little. Listen, there's something very important. Don't leave this thing on uh, pixel. If you leave it on pixel, it will not adjust automatically on some device. Okay, what you need to do is I select this or I select percentage. Okay, so let's adjust it a little to the left. I mean to the right. Okay. Okay. That is that. So we are going to go back to content. Now we're going to add a anchor uh, tag here. I'm going to put in hashtag then to top. Okay. Remember this was the name we we'll give this guy here. Let's go back so I can show you. If we go down, look at it here, to top. So we are going to give this guy to top. Remember, I'm going to click on content. Then the same link here, you are going to type to top. Okay. So once that is done, click on save changes. Now let's test what we've just created. You can see the button. Once you click on this guy, to take you back, you scroll down, click on it, to take you back, scroll down, click on it, to take you back, scroll down, click on it, to take you back. So this is the second way on how you can actually uh insert a scroll to top button these two are free then the last one is uh, i'm going to remove this guy now Okay, the last one is um, with paid version. Okay, like if you go to my website, what I'm actually using is from uh, Astra Pro. Okay, I'm not using the free version. But if you need any of the any of the other Astra uh, Astra Pro link, I'm going to actually drop the link in the description uh, below. It's an affiliate link. So if you use that link, you are not going to pay extra uh, charge. But I'm going to earn commission for referring you or showing you how you can actually do this. So the first thing you need to do is to install um, Astra, uh, Astra Pro Team. Okay. Remember, it's going to be an add-on. Okay. Just like I said, I'm going to drop a link where you can, where you learn how to install that. Uh, you can you learn how to install a uh, plugin or team from a third uh, uh, party website okay so let's go to our uh, dashboard but let me just show you how you can actually install it okay scroll down click on add new as the home of our plugin then click on add new can i click on this upload scroll down you can now upload the file that you downloaded from third party application. Just like I told you, I say it is going to be an uploaded file. Most of the file that you, you, you as in most of the file that you are going to upload are premium uh, files. Other plugin or thing that usually come as a premium. Mainly all the free uh, team or um, what's it called plugins, uh, you can actually access them from your dashboard here. So once you drop it here or you click on the file, you search for it and install it, you activate it. Just watch the video uh, tutorial, I'm, I'm, I'll drop the link below. So you can able to watch how to install Team from both uh, third party and from uh, this thing. So once you install it, 
like I've installed mine already. Let's go to install plugins. You can see I've already installed it. Look at it here. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is to click on setting. Then this page will open up for you. If you come down, you see different options for you here. Let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. You can see it here. Scroll to top. All you need to do is just to click on activate. It has been activated. Then what next? You go down and click on customize because we need to customize it. Click on customize. Okay, once this space opens up for you, you click on uh, this uh, global. You can see scroll to top. So click on scroll to top. Okay, you can see you can position it whether on the left side or the right uh, side of your this. Thing. You can increase the size. Like this one, let's make it 16. Or let's make it 17. Okay, then. Um, you can see it here. If you make it ten, can see it is small. So let us make it at seventeen. Okay, you can bring it to the left. You can see it's on the left now. But I prefer leaving it on the right. You can deselect this. And allow it to show only on mobile or only on desktop. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to click on this design. You can change the color. If you hover over, the, over this guy, you can see icon color. Let me give it something different. You can see this this thing inside is the icon color. I'm going to leave it as white. Then the background color, the hover color. Let me make it black. Watch if I hover it to turn to black. Then if you come down here, the background color. Let me change the background color from that blue to something different. Let's see um, this color. Okay. Then the hover. Let's change the hover to just something different. Let us say blue. Okay. So you can see. So once you are done, you can just play around around the whole thing. Let me just show you one or two things. You can see this radius. If you want to make it round a little, like if you come to my website, if you watch this guy, it is round here. Yeah? So if you want to make it round. Come back to this guy. You can see it is now run. So once you are done, click on publish. Okay, so let's view what we've just done now. Let's refresh. So let's test it. You can see this is it. If you click on this, it will take you back to the top. So these are the three ways you can actually um, add a top to um, button to top uh, button. And if you want me to create a beautiful uh, header like this for you, then comment in the comments section. So I can be able to create something beautiful like this for you. It is not hard to create all this thing. Like if you click on this guy, as this is a different uh, toggle menu. Okay. A different toggle menu can bring it here and so just comment in the comment section i'll be able to create it for you and if i have the chance i'll create it for you even without you commenting so basically that's how you can create um uh top to button to top uh, button please if this is the first time you're coming across my youtube channel Please kindly do me a favor by clicking on that red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. 
that is the whole way of uh, supporting the channel. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to drop the Astra Pro link. Like I said, I'm going to drop the Astra Pro link in the description uh, session. If you buy through my affiliate link, you are not going to pay any extra cash. It is still the same price you are going to pay if you buy it from their website directly. But buying it from me is your own way of showing an appreciation for what I've just shown you. Thank you once again and God bless you.